What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of E-Electric Productions. I'm Jay and today we're going to be taking a look at Tower 57. Now I know very little about Tower 57. It looked like a twin stick shooter. The one thing I saw that immediately captivated me was the art style and I love twin stick shooters and this art style just looked gorgeous. So without further ado, let's take a quick look here and see what we think about this game. Just came out on Steam today. We've got continue, online game, options, credits, and quit. I already tweaked the options. I have not played the game yet, though, so this is my very first take on the game. Okay, so we've got the Don, the scientist, the officer, the beggar, the diplomat, and the spy. And they all have different weapons. I think I'm gonna go with the officer. I like the shotgun there. I can hire a couple of them. So let's take the Don and the Spy. Go with normal difficulty. Changing closets lets you swap characters mid level. Okay. Another day, another mission. Let's see what we've got this time. Welcome back, Agent. This is Tower 57, home to manufacturing giant Gruten Incorporated, hotbed of scientific research, beacon of political stability, and traditionally our strongest ally. Today, this all stands to change at the whims of one man. Meet the Supervisor, a man of strong character. He started out as an intern at Gruten, but quickly climbed the ranks to become head of operations. Two days ago, he inexplicably shut down production. Member of his workers' union have locked in a standoff with authorities ever since. The uprising could spread to neighboring towers like a virus and shatter the fragile equilibrium we fought so hard to achieve. Sadly, no request for assistance has come through the official channels, preventing us from intervening overtly. This is where you come in, Agent. Infiltrate Tower 57, find your way into the sweatshop, take out the supervisor, and put an end to this ridiculous uprising. The fate of all towers rests with you. End of file. No pressure, huh? All right, so there's the setup. We can carry up to two guns. Okay. We gotta find a way into the tower. Oh wow, it's like a madhouse. That's pretty cool. I like the wolf right away that's over there. Uh, there's something to see here. Sometimes you can interact with the environment with the A button. What an odd looking tower. I like the music a lot. Uh, da, 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 da. So it's a news bulletin. Very cool. Resident card and registration, please. Resident card. Correct. Visitors' visas are currently suspended. No residency, no entry. Move along. Okay. So we know that we can get in here somehow okay can I go in more boring clues let's head over this way hold down to select your weapon or tap to quickly cycle through your main weapon and you can aim and hold on to fire press to use your tool. So my tool is a grappling hook for her. Okay, I can hold down there to choose my weapon. Oh, coins galore, I love it. And then I can switch, or I can turn them off completely. Got it. So we picked up a key. What an unfortunate accident. <laughs> this isn't water, it's all slimy. What the heck's running through these pipes? Uh, more clues. These are legitimate blueprints. Looks like everything in the tower is connected by the sewers. Of course it had to be the sewers. That's what she said. Oh, and that does that mean we can get through here? Yes, we can. And we're going in, ladies and gentlemen. You can upgrade body parts at the limb shop. Yeah, I did notice on the Steam page, there was like the one blurb I caught. It says if you lose a body part, you can replace it, I guess, with like mechanical 
prosthesis, prosthe a prosthetic. <laughs> I can't speak right now. Okay, so here we go. We have to locate the excerpt. Okay, so it looks like there was an agent that was down here for a while. I had a feeling that was going to blow up. Should we shoot all of these and get some coinage? I think we should. Oh. There's like a slug thing. Yep. Everything drops like... Tons of coins, and I, I don't even know everything that's popping out of these poor creatures. Okay. You know what? I don't even know if I can get back up there. That wasn't up there a second ago, was it? I didn't notice it. Oh, we got more. More... Whatever these are. Nice. Hidden area. Special meter fills up by killing enemies. And then special attack with X. Let's do it. What the heck? That's awesome. Oh my goodness, that's so awesome. I don't even know what it is. I like shot out all these little... Uh, Spinning blades. Alright, let's go in here. Med kits replenish your health. They are consumed instantly. Here lies the remains of Remus 12. May you rest in peace, my son. Remus 12? What kind of a name is that? I, I don't know. What do we get? Uh, ammo packs replenish your weapon. They are consumed instantly. I guess that was just the lid there that popped off. So let's continue on this way, shall we? Oh, okay, so right now I've got a grappling hook. Or I can pick up the same attack that those little creatures have. You know what, let's use the grappling hook. Oh, I love it. It draws creatures towards... Oops. But you got to really aim it carefully. Now, I, I am right now using... Um, I'm using a controller, but I can actually see where a mouse might be better for this game. Just because there is a lot of precision aiming. Oh, that hurts me. Oh, no. Can't get up there quite yet. Let's switch weapons. Woo! That was close. I like the shotgun better. Finally bit it. And then I start as this other character. Okay. Oh, nice. What's your special ability? Is it a mine? I think his special ability is some sort of a mine. Oh, there was a health kit right there, too. I actually have three weapons now. I have hers as well. I did like that hook, but we'll hold on to this for the time being. I knew it. I had a feeling there was a hidden switch, but I thought it would let me into that other area um, up here on the left. Oh, those doors just open. Unfortunate accident seems to be somewhat common occurrences around these parts. 
I love all the little, like, things you can find in little stories, like the quick little side stories. Dang it. Yeah, I'm not as crazy about that slower weapon he's got, but these, uh, this Tommy gun's pretty nice. Now, what is this thing? Amber balls. Take these balls to the fortune teller to revive dead characters. Um, and they can pet, they can fetch a pretty price on the black market. Well, the face is mostly gone, but whoever that was, they had $200 on them. Sadly, they won't be needing it anymore. Sad for them, not for me. That's how it's done. Now, I am sort of speed running through this. Um, oh, 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 oh. Oh, that thing bit my leg off. <laughs> There's a robot up there. That terminal looks like it might come in handy. Or in leggy. <laughs> Terrible fun. Oh, man, my guy's, like, bleeding out. Let's get that health. Let's... Uh, okay, we'll stick... Oh, that's the closet they were talking about. Okay. So those closets let you switch between your characters. Let's grab this key. So you move a lot slower without your leg, which, yeah, I mean, stands to reason. Okay. I repaired my leg. I'm going to upgrade my weapon if I can. Status dash. That's so cool. So you can choose to upgrade different parts of your body. And that's all I can do. Um, that's just, that's really cool. So you've got all these upgrades. Yep, I do move faster, that's for sure. I am really digging this. I've upgraded my weapon as well. Let's go this way. Picking up cash as I go. I like the additional uh, movement speed for my character after upgrading. Guys, I'm going to be honest. There's not much here that I'm not enjoying. I mean, for real, like, the music, I like it. The art style, I like it. I like the upgrade abilities. I like all the little, um, uh... I don't even know what to call it. When you find, like, dead bodies and stuff, little stories behind it, like what happened to them. There's so much detail to this game. What do we got here? Uh, da, 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 da. This guy was upset about being sent down here because he made a mistake. Um, he needs to collect eggs. If he keeps specimens, he can collect the eggs easier. <laughs> and one of his specimens was plotting his demise. Interesting. What a beauty. Can't wait to try it out. And it's a chainsaw. Okay. But you know what? I'm gonna... I want the Tommy gun. I don't want... Can I... Dang it. I can't. I want to give up. Let's see what this baby can do. I want to give up this gun because I can't stand it, but that's your base gun, so I can't give it up. So I got to either have the shotgun or the Tommy gun. All right, I'll I'll go with the Tommy gun, I guess, and the chainsaw for right now. Let's switch over to the chainsaw and see how it does. Now there's a red door here. Oh wow, something's hurting me though when I bust through those pipes. Okay, let's see here. Waterproof plants. Plan on taking a trip to the sewer. These plants will protect you from contaminated water. I don't have enough, though. It may be worthwhile to save up, though. Because that kind of hurts me. 
Man, this thing is awesome. It's just you gotta get close to him is the only th the only bad part. That's awesome. Yeah, the combat is um, it's it's fun. I mean, if you like if you like twin stick shooters, you're gonna like the combat. If if you're not a fan, then this isn't gonna sell you on it. It's just your typical twin stick shooter fare. Um, but it's well done. It it feels good. It's a lot of fun uh, to to mess around with the weapons. I know. I barrel cannon. Shoot cannonballs out of your dead enemy's husk. Just don't ask how. That is so cool. I'm actually going to trade the chainsaw. I really like the Tommy gun and I want to keep it. It's just too useful. The chainsaw is really neat. It's just... We're trading fire here. <laughs> oh, this is a blast. Seriously, this is awesome. I'm going to have a hard time like stopping this review because I'm having too much fun just playing it uh, so there's destructible environments oh yes found a new area oh I think you know what yep I did I picked up those sewer pants that I wanted to buy so let's I want to put a little bit more money into my legs here Insufficient funds. I was going to try to raise my health a little bit, too. Uh, earns candles victim devoured by a mutated beast. This bears all the marks of ritual sacrifice. Creepy. Gather up the cash. Everything's got coinage in it. Make our way over here. Dollar dollar bills. Okay, we're doing okay still on ammunition, so... Oh, this looks like it's gonna be... This is a boss fight. Alright. Uh-oh. Yup. I knew it. Well. But of course. <laughs> Crap. I got this. Switching it up. Oh, guys, I tried so hard. That's awesome, though. No, seriously, like, that was... Okay, so it's a railgun. Oh, my goodness, the railgun is so incredible. That is sick. Where are you at, though, creatures? They're not moving. Why aren't they moving? Oh, they were, I hadn't gotten close enough yet. Now, the railgun's got kind of a weird little quirk to it, which I get because it's, like, seriously powerful. Um, and the weird quirk is it tends to shift a little bit just before it fires. That's awesome. Oh, there's... You're still alive. And you are. What are the weapons she have? Just that base, typical, um... What is your special? She's got, like, a... Oh. Oh, because the steam. That's what's hurting me. Dang it. I don't think they can hurt me, those little slug things. I don't think so, anyway. Um, that face ability is pretty nice. I feel bad that I lost the Don, though, the uh, the other character that I had. He was pretty awesome. 
I do like the Tommy gun. It is like the most uh, useful of the firearms so far. Oh, this is just the news. I'm going to skip through this now just because I'm trying to keep this uh, review not too terribly long. Okay. Um, weapon, tool. So it's it's the same for most of the characters. Let's upgrade this tool. I'm just curious what happens. Just tear up the trash here. Make our way through. See if there's any good... Uh, currency. And that's it. We're through the canal up into the train station. Breaking some walls can reveal hidden rooms. They sure can. I made it. Looks like I'm in the right place, too. Better check my file before I proceed any further. Alright. And I'm gonna... Okay, so there's our map key. And it shows shops, news, NPCs, loot. A little placard here. Sewer maintenance. Can I talk to people? I cannot. Um, let's see. Full screen music, sound effects, screen shake, aiming aid, tutorials. So there's some quick, uh, quick options there. I can't shoot up here either. Okay. Well, guys, I'm going to pretty much stop the review here. Or whatever you want to call it. First play, let's play, review, I don't know. Um, <laughs> this game is awesome. The art style is super... Oh, I just love it. it. If you grew up playing like Super NES and stuff like that, it's that style, except it's like really done up even better with more characters on the screen, uh, more, more particles flying around when you blow stuff up. Um, it's great. It's got a great nostalgic feel to it, but at the same time, it's been updated, you know, for the 21st century where it's got a lot of the features that we want in our games today. The combat is super clean. It's fun. It's precise. I like the weapon variety. You can upgrade your characters. You can switch between your three characters in those closet. Uh, when you find those closets, um, you can upgrade body parts, which boosts different stats that you've got. You've got special abilities. The enemies are creative. Half the time when they die, they drop whatever their special weapon was and you can pick it up and use it um, there's stuff everywhere that you can click on and get funny little blurbs about you know what how this person died or you know how he was trying to harvest eggs and keeping these creatures in the little glass cases or whatever and uh, all in all and we're only playing with three of the characters there's even more characters to choose from I really really like it it's it's got a lot of charm to it it's got a lot of just you could just tell the devs this was a love project from the devs they poured themselves into this and it really shows this was not uh, some slapdash cash grab and if you like what you're seeing here i think the game's like ten dollars right now with that initial steam release sale all in all guys i would say that this is an absolute must-have if you like twin stick shooters and retro style um, art and i would highly encourage you to take a look at the game for yourself if you get the chance to and guys that's pretty much going to do it for me today thank you so much for stopping by and watching the video i hope this review helped you in some way shape or form if you <laughs> have a name for this whatever i keep doing which is basically get games try them out give you my initial impressions and then kind of a quick overview at the end of of what i thought of the game if you can think of a good name for that i keep trying to figure out the best thing to call it and i don't know i come up with something different like every video but uh yeah guys until next time thank you so much i look forward to seeing you on the next episode of the electro productions and until then game on everyone bye bye <laughs>